Today I wanted to discuss Black Lives Matter, police brutality, very forms of racism and our universal need for change. With everything going on right now, I cannot deny that my own feelings have been triggered by the recent murder of George Floyd and the many other human beings at the hands of police in America. I am not African American nor have I ever been to America so I understand that I will never understand. The Māori of my generation have been heavily influenced by black culture as were our parents before us. We as a people have tremendous respect for culture. Our own culture has been handed down for generations and although our language has been stolen from many, we still celebrate who we are through music and many other traditional art forms. We are taught to respect and value not only our own culture, but those of others. We see you and we respect you. America sees itself dealing with atrocities such as human beings being denied a basic right. The right to be protected by police officers, but instead it seems they are hunted. African Americans who were stolen from their homelands, forced into slavery and treated like animals or less for far too long are still asking for basic human rights. When will we wake up? Black lives matter. Why do I even need to state that all lives matter? It's obvious, all lives matter. But the priority will always be those that are in need. Social media has shown us time and time again that the voice of the people matters, that we can change a narrative. So here I am to add volume. Racism, however, is not an American problem. It is a universal issue that we cannot face unless we do it together. My name is Te Aroharu Ngai O Matamihi Awake. Kia ora. Growing up in New Zealand with this name should mean that I walk around with pre-earned mana. However, it meant that I walked around with unearned shame. Teachers butchering my name to the chorus of laughter. Someone saying, oh my god, is they a real name? Like, how do you even say that? Taroha Runga, oh, it's just so big. That's crazy. I noticed that Te Aroha was having far less success getting a job than TK did, and so I sacrificed my name so that I could get an income. My mother sent me to diocesan school for girls with a name like Te Aroha Ruangai Matamehi Aoke. My parents were not rich, but they wanted to give me an opportunity. They wanted to give me an education. They wanted to give me a good start at life. And that's exactly what they did. Good on them. However, during my time at that school, for the first year, I hardly had any friends. And the only person that took any personal interest in me was a Māori teacher, and her name was Fire Boys. I was bullied for two years by a South African girl, and when I went to the dean, to let her know that I was being bullied, she told me that it wasn't possible because I was intimidating. I was asked to leave my friend's grandmother's house because being Māori made her feel uncomfortable. I found my parents making decisions with our ethnicity in mind, paying for school trips that were both ridiculous and expensive just so that I wouldn't have the Māori parents who couldn't afford to send her. I've had Māori people make me feel like I'm not Māori enough because my parents could afford me these kinds of opportunities. And it got me thinking, we really do think that success is a white man thing because that's what we've been told. But I'm a Māori and no one's going to take that away from me, opportunities or not. I'm so sick of this narrative that Pākehā is successful and Māori are addicts and thieves because it's just simply not true. I'm sick of the blatant, in-your-face, mainstream racism that is journalism today. Media outlets need to be held accountable for headlines that read Taika Waititi, Māori director, criticised for viral tweets. But not a few months ago, those headlines were reading Taika Waititi, Kiwi director, takes home Oscar, dedicates to Indigenous. Don't give accolades to the Kiwi and only shame to the Māori. That's telling us that only one can be successful and that is not true. I don't mind being called a Kiwi, that's what I am. But when I make a mistake and when I am successful, I am a Kiwi. We do not graduate from being Māori to being Kiwi once we encounter success. I do not accept the mistakes of one man and I refuse that prejudice. You can no longer take away the success of our people because they are ours. Taika is ours. Generations ago, our people were subjected to abuse and trauma and the ripples from that are still being felt today. But our people, Jake, once were warriors. It is a privilege to be Māori. We fuck up our back to warriors. We are strong enough to stand up against racism, prejudice, and stereotypes. 
We are talented enough to stand on the stage at the Oscars, be New Zealander of the Year and one day run the country that we belong to. I am here demanding that you believe in yourself. I am here acknowledging that you are worthy. I am here begging that you would stand up for yourself. In the face of everyday prejudice, call it out. My intention is to wake the giant inside of your wairua. We will rise as a people. They clustered state housing, stole our land, gave us slums, put liquor stores on corners, beat us down and called us bums. They still tell us in Facebook comments that we're nothing but a waste. They refuse to pronounce names right. It's disrespectful not to change. I know that all white people are not like this. That is true. Keep fighting for us. The fight is harder without you.